Welcome back to another video. It's Andy from gymnutrition.co.uk and today's video is week two of my Sam's live series. So experiment on myself. So if you haven't seen the first episode, that was aired uh, a week ago. So in today's video, I'm going to do my weigh-in in the morning. So that's day seven, start of the second week. And there's going to be a little bit of brief training, so I'm going to train a little bit of shoulders. I'm not going to do any food videos because the food intake is pretty much the same as on the last week's video. So if you want to see what I eat on a typical day, then check out last week's video. And rather than taking a photograph of myself, the photographs are easy to edit. You can alter the light, you can alter the contrast, the colour, make yourself look a little bit better. So I kind of thought to get a more sort of like um, realistic, if you want to call it that, uh, look at what's going on when I take these um, Rab 140 YK11 mix. I've decided to do like a little bit of brief video. So I'm doing a video after the end of Monday's workout in the same room with the same light, the same type of day, bloody bloody blah. So we can, everyone can see that it's not edited. So I will look a bit different otherwise I'm gonna, I'm pointing it up anyway. If I don't look no different, I'm pointing it up. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what happened to, on the videos. Now, as with all my science videos, this is for entertainment purposes only. If you can gauge a little bit from it, get a little bit of knowledge from it, then all, all well and good. But I'm not a doctor, I'm not a coach, I'm not offering any medical advice whatsoever. So, entertainment. If you decide to take science, that's down to you. It's nothing to do with me. This is just my own personal Psalms experiment. So, don't take Psalms that are bad for you. Don't do what I do, because I'm slightly... Blah. You get what I mean? Anyway. Alright, it's the morning. This is week two. I'll start off week two anyway. So. 16, 7. So that's up three pounds since the last Monday, so seven days, three so, um, Week two of the Brad experiment on moi. So we're, we're going to film shoulders today. So I've done, we've just done chest. Seen that on last week's video. Uh, I've warmed up with a couple of sets, high reps, just using the four kilos on side laterals with like a little bit of pressing as well. So that's just to literally warm my shoulders up. Um, then this is the second set that I'm doing on dumbbell press. So it's only like 22s. But what I tend to do is start on the lighter set, pyramid the weight up until you get to roughly sort of a six to eight rep where it's the maximum set. So I want to leave a bit in the tank for that last one. So these are just feeder sets up to that last one set. Right or, what, right or wrong way of training? I don't think there is a right and wrong. It's just a case of trying it out, see what works best for you. So over the years, I kind of prefer that. But anyway, let me see myself in the mirror because I need to ask better. Not that I want no one want to see my fat head for. But I tend to hold my, my hands this way around as opposed to that. I just find it more comfortable. But it's just personal preference. So. Again, nice slow on, on the way down. I tend to like try and, try and punch it up more and then control it on the way down. Try to pause the bottom, then power up, slow down. And that's pretty much the way it goes for all the sets. But just gives you an idea on, on what we're doing with shoulders. I'm not going to film every set, so uh, yeah, that's it for that exercise. Right, so this is week, the end of week one on the experiment on myself. So just to recap, RAB 140, YK11. So it's exactly seven days since I've done the first video. To the day, well seven days and about eight hours, if you want the exact. So uh, we'll have a little look. I'll probably post the other video. I'll clip the two videos together so you can see last week and this week. So I'm four pound heavier, so I'm not, there's not gonna be a massive change. It's been one week. But anyway, I said I'll do a video every Monday. So, uh, We'll have a look, see if I look any different today. So, uh, that's kind of what I look like after seven days. So whether that looks any different to the other one. I mean, 
strength wise, my strength's up loads, isn't it? It's gone up mad, yeah. In like Crazy. a week. I mean, my, uh, I can't remember what the dumbbell press, I think the dumbbell press was up, like, like, like chest was up, I don't know. Gone up more six kilos. Six, six kilos, for roughly the same amount of reps. And um, the dumbbell pressing for shoulders. Four key. Remember, was it, it's gone up by four, yeah. Four kilos aside. Yeah. And that's in a week. Yeah, so that's in a week. So it's gone it has gone up quite a lot. I mean I've been eating I've been eating better. Not hundred percent, probably I'd say eighty percent if I was to be truthful. But pretty much on the on the first video is what I've been eating consistently for, for the for the past week. Um, so I've I've I miss the odd meal, I've had the odd cheat on a Saturday night. But um, I'm, I'm not looking at putting shitloads on because as you can see, my belly's sticking out nicely now. So I'm not looking at like bulking up, but uh, we'll see what happens anyway for over the, the next uh, couple of weeks. So stay tuned for the next video, which will be this time next Monday. It's still like a little bit there. But uh, yeah, I've had basically a year of taking nothing, not training brilliant. So I've had some, um, uh, what can I say? Personal things to deal with. Issues. Um, yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing too, too drastic, but enough to sort of like throw you off your training and eating and stuff like that as well. So uh, I've been coasting for a year. So um, yeah, but this is, this is day one, week one. So uh, I'll do another video next Monday. So we'll see if there's any change in a week. It's only a week, so I'm not expecting to look like Mr. Olympia in a week, but we will see. For now. So how am I feeling at the end? Well, I feel exactly the same, to be honest with you. Um, appetite's the same, mood's the same. I don't feel like I've got any more energy. I don't feel like I've got... I, I, just, feel, I just feel absolutely exactly the same. Now, the big difference is when I get into the gym. Now, I would say that some of this is placebo. Um, if you take something, if I take something like I'm taking now, then I'm more enthusiastic to get in the gym. I think, oh, I wonder, I wonder if I'm get, getting a better pump. I wonder if I'm going to be any stronger. I wonder if I look any better, etc., etc. So you kind of more enthused to get in the gym. So that does help a little bit to sort of drive the motivation for the workouts. So yes, there is a bit of placebo effect, I would say, in this. But I can honestly say the pumps, even after one week, so that's seven days I've been on this thing, the pumps are pretty intense already. I would say that the pumps probably kicked in after three, four days, you sort of start noticing it. So within a week, like I say, um, do I done chest and shoulder workout today. And you just do the few like little light warm-up sets and the feeder sets as I call them. So your lighter mm -hmm. ones are like getting progressively progressively heavier weights with each set. The pump's pretty well, in, quite intense to be honest with you. And as I've already mentioned on the uh, the top off part of the video, my strengths are quite dramatically within one week as well. So very, very, very pleased. I'm not training to get stronger because the stronger I get, the more my joints hurt. So I'm conscious at my age that it ain't a good thing to put on a lot of strength really quickly because of the joint issues that I'm gonna get as a result of that. So I'm trying my hardest not to get stronger. So I'm trying to train really strict, really nice slow reps, slow on the negative, and also doing a little bit of pre-exhaust. So I'll do some like exercises before the big compound exercises to try and not only to warm up my muscles, so like for shoulders for instance, I'll do side laterals first, then I'll go into dumbbell pressing. So in theory, I've warmed up my shoulders more with the side laterals, and also I've probably zapped a little bit of strength from my shoulders before I start the pressing. So the, the exercise, the pressing exercise is gonna be hard and intense, but the weight will be slightly less because I've pre-exhausted them first. So overall, strength up, pump up, more drive in the gym, more enthusiasm, bit of placebo, but more enthusiasm nevertheless. Well, whatever way the enthusiasm's coming, it's welcomed. So week one, very, very impressed. So um, I'm gonna be doing, like I say, the, the weekly video. So there'll be another video going up next week. So we'll see if there's any change on that. So um, if you like my little videos and you're interested to see what happens um, on these live Psalms experiments on myself, then please 
subscribe to the channel and click on the little bell icon, then you won't, won't miss the, the uh, future videos as well. So I'll leave it at that for now. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.